What's up guys, God's Lee back with another video. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about the Iron Banner stuff going on this week. It's almost over so if you haven't tried it yet, get in there and get up uh, to rank 5. It's not actually that hard, you get a lot more rep now than you used to. Um, it's like 500 per win and then um, all of your medallions are about 120 a pop now. Um, no more, um, the weekly things are a lot easier to get now, you don't even really have to win, you just play. Um, and they all give you pretty decent loot. And then at rank three, four, no, three, you just get some stuff. Four and five, you get stuff from her as well, like uh, armor and weapons. Um, before I open up my final, you know, level five package, I want to talk about the weapons real quick and what I think about this new Iron Banner. I actually really enjoyed um, Supremacy this time for the Iron Banner um, match type. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. The matches were, were very close. Some of, well, some of them were close. Some of them were um, Mercy Ruled, which was, those were the fun ones because, you know, pretty much an instant win, um, unless you were on the crap team. But I really liked it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait till Clash comes around again or Control. I think it'll uh, give a different dynamic to the game. Again, something we can kind of be familiar with, but also different because these new weapons bring about kind of some new play styles. So let me talk about the weapons. Um, I've gotten a few pieces of armor here and there. Um, I've infused most of it. Uh, well, I've got like this right here, and then different stuff on other. Actually, no, that's not even. Never mind. That's that's days of iron stuff. But I've got the arms and some other things. Um, but I want to talk about the weapons. Weapons. I've got a lot of the weapons. I got a bunch of bent trees and stuff. I've tried all of them out. I'm going to tell you kind of my thoughts on each one. I've got the shotgun. I've got the rocket launcher or the machine gun. I had the rocket launcher. Um, I must have accidentally got rid of it, but I've got the machine gun. Haven't used the machine gun, so let me know in the comments if you've used it, if it's any good or not. But uh, let's start with the Clever Dragon. Now, this is the Pulse Rifle. In my opinion, this is the best of all the Iron Banner weapons. Now, this could be different for you. It depends on how you play. But for me, this gun melts. I mean, it's got Head Seeker. Um, so, I mean, body shots with the weapon increase precision damage for a short time. So that helps out a lot. Uh, I can aim a lot faster, and then I've got perfect balance for that stability and everything else. It, it's it's a monster, man. It is a it's an absolute monster. It's there's no other way to talk about it. And then also you got the unbent tree. Yes, it's low impact, but man, the fire rate on this thing is crazy. And with this hidden hand, oh excuse me, <sighs> hidden hand and quick draw and all these other things just make it an absolute beast. Um, I just got through a minute ago trying out the scout rifle. This thing actually is, even with a low clip, I, I wasn't bothered by it. The impact is so high and the fire rate's not too bad. Um, it was knocking people out pretty quick. A headshot was taking shields off in some cases. Um, but it, it's really good. It's about a three to four hit kill, uh, depending on what's going on. It's got various different perks you can get for it. And then honestly, second to the uh, pulse rifle, really one of my favorites is the hand cannon. Um, the lingering song. Um, I just got through playing with it a minute ago. Two headshots and it's it's over, pretty much. Um, three body shots is over. Even in the foot, um, it's it just melts people. And the fire rate is actually not too bad. You don't feel like you're you don't have enough time to get shots down. Even at a long range, it's not that bad. Uh, I was going up against people with scout rifles and taking them out. It does kind of. Uh, kind of knocks them off their balance a little bit I've noticed because they'll be shooting me accurately and I put one into them and they'll kind of stop a little bit um, so I can definitely tell it's pretty beneficial and I wouldn't use this for like trials or anything I'd stick with the pulse rifle because you can put constant damage on this one might run you into some trouble but for PvP just playing around having fun it's not too bad I enjoy it um, it reminds me a lot of the fate bringer and the way you hold it which they're all kind of the same depending on what you put on them but I really like this gun but my favorite is the clever dragon it's awesome now Shotgun, Proud Spire. I've been using the Quantoplasm. Um, it's got low fire rate, but it's a one-hit kill pretty much. This thing right here, I want, look at look at the difference. Look at the difference in impact on these things. And the Proud Spire is still a one-hit kill. It's actually amazing. I've been one-hit popping people with this thing all day. I love it. It's six shots, full auto. So if I get into these big groups, I just full auto everybody. And I've got other options down here. I'm actually going to uh, upgrade this one and use it next. Last round, the magazine deals more damage, which I might look a little bit more than the full auto just because I don't really use the full auto a lot. I still kind of click the trigger myself because it's kind of like this uh, an assurance thing, I guess. I'm just used to doing it, so I do it. I um, haven't used the silver, uh, silver Dread yet. 
Um, but all of these, usually, I mean, all these weapons so far have about the same perks, you know, hidden hand, things like that, snapshot, um, hand laid stock, things like that. So they're all fairly decent once you use them. And they look great. I think they look good. Now, of course, they're kind of reskins of the uh, Days of Iron stuff and the, and the uh, what is it called? Archon's Forge weapons, but I'm willing to let it slide. They look so awesome and they're so new looking with all the spikes and things coming off of them. But that's for my that's it for my impressions about the game and the weapons. I think it's all great. I've had a lot of fun playing it. I played with a buddy of mine a few hours last night and it was just it was fun. We won a lot. We lost like one game out of five or six and it was great. Um, so if you haven't played yet, guys, definitely get out there and we'll open up this final package from her and see what we get. Oh, shoot, another clever dragon. Yes. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's see. 36, 385. That's fine. That's fine. See, and they see they got about the same stuff, counterbalance. Secret round. I'm not a big fan of secret round just because you got 30 rounds up in there. So, I mean, it's not like that big of a deal. Um, increased ability. I already got that in mind. Uh, feather mag. I don't really care too much about feather mag. The reload rate's already pretty high. Um, hammer forge. That's not bad. Uh, hand laid stock. I don't mind hammer forge and hand laid stock. It's just I don't I don't know compared to the one I've got right now It just doesn't it doesn't do it because I've got perfect balance snapshot and then head seeker So for me, I'm gonna keep this one. I'll probably just infuse this one into something else um, But that's it guys. That's all my gear I've, I've brought all my characters up and it's also a great way to get your other your faction stuff up and your crucible up and gets a few more extra packages out of it. Um, but that's it, guys, for Iron Banner. I hope you guys have had a lot of fun. Let me know what level you've gotten to with Iron Banner. It has definitely gotten all three of my characters to 385, no problem. Um, I was all about 380 on them, and now 385 after just this one week. So I'm getting ready for the hard mode raid coming out in about a week and a half or so. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to try to jump into it and try it at least one time uh, that Tuesday night when it comes out. So I'll have a video up for you guys. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Get out there, play some Iron Banner. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.